the bay company over in Ketchikan, Alaska just installed a new Sea Keeper ride system on our 28 foot North River here in Alaska. Look at these controllers. These are 22 inches wide. These are the 525s. I uh, just wanted to run you through a quick install video on how this system went into the boat. Uh, they had to do some fab work obviously here to get this installed, uh, but we've got controllers, port and starboard. Let's jump up in the boat, kind of show you what the system looks like inside the boat. Back here in the transom, we've got a distribution module right up in here. It's going to be hard to see, but it's tucked up in here. Uh, two controller cables that come up from the controllers, positive and negative that goes to a 25 amp breaker right over here on one of my breaker panels. Uh, a negative cable and a data cable that goes up to the helm. Pretty simple install right here. We'll jump up to the helm here and show you everything going on up there. Tucked up in the bow here in front of the helm station, you can see we've got our Sea Keeper Ride software module right here and their proprietary CAN bus right here. All this is routed through the NEMA 2000 network uh, so we can get our data up on our MFD as well up on the dash. We'll show you that in a second. This also has positive and negative uh, routed to a three amp breaker right here on this breaker panel. If you do need to make adjustments to your Seakeeper ride system while you're underway, you can do so with the optional keypad that we have installed right here or through your MFD. Look at this, it's got an intuitive display right here. You know, we can make adjustments, port to starboard, we can bring the bow up, bow down. We can make all of our adjustments to our vessel pitch and attitude right here, either through the optional keypad or right through the MFD. Uh, pretty slick system right here. You can see we've got the right icon right here. We just click on that and it pops right up. So you can make all your adjustments right here, but really once you get it optimized, those big controllers back there, no matter what's going on, should keep the boat at its optimal running angle. Let's say you get somebody walking from one side to another, they're going to get a drink, or we're in Alaska, there's plenty to see here. There's whales and wildlife and all kinds of stuff going on. Somebody may wander to one side of the boat. You're not gonna to have to reach for your tabs like you used to. It will automatically sense that and it will make the, the correct movements back there to keep the boat in the optimal angle at all times. That's a quick rundown of the Sea Keeper Ride install here on the Polar Bear. Once again, drop your comments and questions down below. We'll catch you next time.